Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton and former law clerk to Justice Neil Gorsuch, Mike Davis, both join me now. Gentlemen, good to have you both on. Uh, right. Mike, let's go through this. Each big decision we're going to go through, we're going to start with affirmative action. I want to talk to you both about that. But, Mike, how on earth could anyone think that judging people by race is constitutional? Well, I mean, that, that's the problem, is, is that Democrats think it's acceptable to give wealthy black connected kids slots over more qualified Asian kids. That is blatant racial discrimination. And the Supreme Court says that that violates the 14th Amendment. And we're just not going to continue to do that. Tom, your thoughts on the affirmative action decision? It couldn't come at a better time. Uh, you know, the left used to pretend they were against racial discrimination. Not only do they endorse these uh, uh, slippery affirmative action programs that include race as a plus factor, now they're saying we want to give the benefits out, hire people specifically based on their race. Indeed, President Biden did that with Justice Jackson. He said, I'm not going to consider right. anyone else other than a, a, a black female. Yeah, it was blatant racial, racial discrimination. We were all supposed to celebrate it as opposed to being horrified at the contempt for the Constitution, the 14th Amendment, and decades of federal civil rights laws. And you know, the left didn't lose everything this term. I, you know, they had this ruling that banned racial discrimination and sorting students by race in admissions. But the court also earlier let stand um, a series of decisions that allow uh, voters to be sorted by race in congressional districts uh, when they're redistricting plans. So there's still too much racism yeah. in our society uh, that's allowed. Uh, and it's usually to achieve leftist ends. And the left wants to continue this racialism. And thankfully, the court said no in this key respect. And I'm hoping not only schools, but corporations stop playing uh, uh, this game of hiring and firing and giving out benefits right. based on race. It, it's one way to end America. And the, uh, the audacity to think that that's somehow protected by the, that affirmative action would be somehow constitutionally protected. And this is some kind of an assault on the Constitution. I, I can't fathom how they get to that, but that's what they're saying. Mike, I want to move on to, to student loan forgiveness. This one, to me, seemed to be the simplest of all of them. The, the president cannot just unilaterally spend $400 billion and, and, and frankly, try to buy votes with it. I, I don't understand the outrage over this decision. Yeah, $400 billion from people who work for a living to give to his deadbeat Democrat supporters, and he doesn't think he has to go to Congress to get that done. If his program is so popular, why can't Biden go to Congress and convince them to pass it? Because right. it's not popular. That's exactly right. And, Tom, I want to end on the Colorado gay website case. This one, I think, confused people the most. Uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people screaming on TV still don't quite understand this ruling and what it means. It's, it's not about you know, permitting discrimination. It's about protecting a person's First Amendment rights. You can't force somebody to say something and, and creating a website they determined is a form of expression or a form of speech, and you can't force somebody to, into, into speech or expression. That's right. The Supreme Court found that uh, Colorado's state law uh, put people in this incredible position, untenable position of being forced to say things they disagreed with. And as you point out, that's not about discrimination. That's about forced speech. And uh, the radical left isn't, sufficient, isn't satisfied with quiet approval or, or, or non-approval. Uh, you've got to verbally approve everything they say and do. Otherwise, they'll try to jail you, which is what they were trying to do in Colorado. Right. They were going to find and destroy this poor woman if she didn't create a website or wasn't willing to create a website that was at odds uh, with her own thinking on gay marriage or, or whatever other issue. It's not just about gay marriage. Any Should issue. Should you be forced to create an, a content that you disagree with? Right. And the First Amendment says no. I, you know, this is a rather obvious point, but the left is so far crazed yeah. in terms of the to their totalitarian impulses taking control of their thinking on these issues. Uh, you know, that this this attack on our First yep. Amendment rights is almost secondhand to them. I mean, just imagine it the other way. If that decision had gone the other way, you could have a, a white supremacist wanting to create a white supremacy website, go to an LGBTQ black person and say, you I'm going to I want you to create this website. If they say no, they'd be forced to by the law. If that decision had gone the other way, people don't understand that. They, they don't see that. All they see is, oh, it's oppressive toward toward a gay person in this case. Well, well yeah. you know, in, in the one case, 
they favor discrimination, right? Exactly. With students. And yeah. on the other case, they supposedly oppose discrimination. Well, yeah. it's not really discrimination. Yeah. It's about force and control. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You know, the left is a menace yeah. to the American way, and their reaction to these court decisions, <laughs> if it doesn't prove it, I don't know what would. No, and it never made any sense, and they're screaming about it all day. Tom and Mike, uh, good to see you guys both. We appreciate it. Tom Fitton, Mike Davis. Gentlemen, thank, thank you. you so much.